Hey everyone, I haven't been able to stop thinking about Paul W.S. Anderson's Monster Hunter. After watching in theaters the Tuesday after it was released, I walked out and wasn't sure what to think. I kind of liked it, but, you know, I still wasn't sure. So I decided to look up a bunch of other reviews of what other people thought, and I got a bunch of YouTube videos and put them on a playlist, uh, and I've spent the last month listening to every review I could from absolute amateurs all the way up to the most proficient professional reviewers, and opinions are all over the spectrum. And so I wanted to make a video talking about how I felt about this movie, but I wrote a thing that was two to three pages long, and I try to be optimistic. So here are some of the good things about this Monster Hunter movie. Now, as a preface, um, I originally was expecting that everyone who wanted to watch this movie already had. Uh, but apparently that's not the case. The digital release is getting delayed, which is stupid, I'll admit. Um, but I want to explain myself without it having to dance throughout spoilers. So there will be spoilers. There's not much as to the actual plot, just mentioning a lot of set pieces and, interest and cool shots and stuff like that. So if you don't want any spoilers, click away now. huge Monster Hunter fan. I got into Monster Hunter with the game 4 Ultimate, which was on the 3DS back in 2013. And, even though I don't have much time to play video games these days, I usually spend about 5 hours a week grinding away on Generation Ultimate. It's a series that always manages to cheer me up when I feel crummy. In fact, I've been playing it right now to try and boost my confidence so I can record my voice. For those who need an introduction, Monster Hunter is about kicking butt and taking names. You sign up for a quest, kill a dinosaur, use its bones and feathers to make some sweet swords, use those swords to kill a small dragon, dragon skins to make some armor to improve your defense, wear that armor and go fight a bigger dragon, etc, etc, etc. This core gameplay loop makes me feel like the most awesome person in the world. This feeling is actually captured really well in the movie's best moments. There's a scene where a hunter jumps off a rock to slice an Arcella with his great sword, or when Artemis grapples on the head of the Dio Hablos to finish it off, and the final scene with Gormagala and everyone charging it. Um, I do definitely think that when, it goes, when this movie is going for an action movie angle, Mr. Anderson does really well, creating that, I don't use this word a lot, but badass feeling of Monster Hunter. Now, a lot of people complain about how few monsters there are, but I actually believe that that's one of the movie's greatest strengths, because Monster Hunters are a series of boss fights where you prepare by picking up best armor weapons and other equipment, uh, and then specifically go out and hunt a certain target. Each of the three acts focuses primarily on one monster. Oh my god! That's a lot! In the first act, uh, characters get captured by, some, by an Arcilla, and they have to escape. And in the second act, Diablos is such kind of digging around in the sand and pops up at any moment. Finally, you know, the Rathalos is like the best, final boss of the movie where it's extra powerful and it has a specific weakness they need to exploit, and it provides a real challenge for our heroes. And I like that because in the games, each monster is very carefully crafted to provide a specific experience, and I think that that is reflected well in the movie. The monsters look amazing, and each one gets plenty of time to get fully explored as its own unique set piece. I also want to talk a little bit about Paul W.S. Anderson, uh, the main guy behind making this movie. Um, and as part of his reviews I've watched, I also watched several hours of recent interviews with him about this movie, and I think he was actually a good pick to make a movie. He is a self-proclaimed video game nerd. Um, it sounded like he was more into old-fashioned arcade stuff than uh, the newer things. The way he talks about Monster Hunter 
he has a lot of excitement, and I have a hard time getting upset with him uh, with the things that, that are wrong about this movie, because it's just so, you can tell he really cared about this movie, and he's been wanting to make it for the past 11 years. When Monster Hunter World came out and sold kind of 15 million copies a, a year and a half, two years ago, every Hollywood studio in the world was chasing Monster Hunter because suddenly they're like, oh, big sales, let's go grab it. And they were all very disappointed to discover that I already had the rights to it. But I pursued the rights when no one knew about it outside of Japan. So that's how you can tell that even though he's not part of the fan base, it doesn't seem like he interacted with fans that much. Uh, this is a movie that he cared about. It's not a cash grab. In conclusion, this is a movie that matters to me. I do have complaints, but I find it's more important to focus on positive things, and when this movie gets something right about Monster Hunter, which is quite frequently actually, it gets it so right. And it is a movie that I kind of hope to see a sequel of. As long as Mr. Anderson, you know, focuses more on what this movie does well, if you enjoyed this video, this channel is sort of just my YouTube channel to post whatever I feel like posting. It's I kind of want it to be my way of sharing projects I'm working on because I have a hard time actually sharing them with people because I'm kind of introverted. Um, uh, but things I'm working on right now, I'm working on making a card game I call Charmic. That's pretty cool. I've been having fun with that. It's about driving mech powered by magic crystals. Alternatively, I'm... I'm considering, slash, have already done uh, some videos involving AI Dungeon. So if you think those two things are interesting, they should be on my channel page. Well, go and check them out. Thank you so much, and make it a great week.